Hi, this is Dr. Victoria Skirbo, and this is your astrological weather for Thursday, September 5th. Today is a new moon in Virgo. New moons are always seed times, time when we plan our intentions for the next lunar cycle. Virgo is the archetype of perfection, or attempting to find perfection. Of course, as we know, there really is no perfection, but Virgo does its um, damnedest, as it were, to uh, figure things out. The idea behind Virgo is to take all the information we have gleaned through our uh, experiences through the first five signs of the zodiac and uh, make some kind of a, a product or synthesize the information, the feelings, the creativity that we've uh, come to express and synthesize it into some sort of story or, co or cohesive whole. Virgo is the sign that sits between Leo and Libra. Leo is the sign of self-expression, and Libra is the sign of relationship and compromise. And so there is a humbling process that we go through with Virgo. And so we might find ourselves being humbled by the situations we find ourselves in. Now there are a couple of um, potent aspects to this new moon. One is an inconjunct to um, Uranus and Aries. Inconjuncts are irritating aspects. They are aspects of adjustment. And so we need to make some mental adjustments um, concerning uh, taking steps. We, um, we had some new ideas back at the end of um, I think it was back at the end of March, new uh, ideas, and now we need to make some, um, some adjustments around those ideas. There is also a trine to Pluto in um, Capricorn. Trines are flowing aspects, and so we have access to deep wells uh, of inner resources that we may or may not know that we have. What's important is that we need to uh, look for them and dig for them and they will we will find them. And lastly is an opposition between the planet um, the asteroid Chiron and the Sun in Virgo. Virgo Pisces is the axis of service. It's the axis of healing. Um, it is also the axis of the idea of victim and victimization. And so we need to really look at that whole uh, mental construct and see how by um, labeling ourselves either victim or victimizers, we perpetrate um, that whole structure of things. And so there's a lot of things to think about on this new moon how you relate to um, your inspirational thoughts, how you, relate, how you relate to your inner resources, and, um, and how you relate or don't relate to the idea of being a victim or being a victimizer. So with that in mind, I wish you a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow.